Hello my darlings, my name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I love to do readings for love, obviously love of another, but most importantly love for oneself because you can't pour from an empty cup, hence cup of tea tarot. Um, and in England there's nothing that a good cup of tea and a natter, a chat with a friend, can't help with. And today we're going to have that cup of tea and a natter with spirit to see where you are on your journey and where your soulmate is on their journey. And uh, if it doesn't resonate, please don't try and make it fit. There are lots of other fabulous, amazing, wonderful readers out there who'll have a message for you. And I always believe that uh, whoever's meant to see um, a message will do so at exactly the right timing for them, divine timing for them. So uh, let's get cracking and we're gonna pull uh, cards for your headspace, your heart space, your soulmate's headspace, their heart space, advice from spirit, and then I'll pull you a uh, oracle card as well. So let's have a look. Oh, and by the way, happy birthday, Cancer, if you have your birthday this week, my darling. Okay, so let's pull Cancer's headspace. Where are you in your headspace? So you've got <clears throat> the death card, which don't be scared about, is actually a really good card. So this card is about uh, the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. And it's something that is very divinely guided. Um, you know, nothing can st not stop it, not even this king that's sort of underneath him there. Um, and it's something that's been hard for you, but you've been very guided to do it. You've got this sort of sun setting on something, which means that there is a new dawn coming. And uh, the white horse represents the sort of free spirit side of you. It also represents um, the end of this something is bringing you peace as well. So that's in your headspace. Um, and uh, as I said, it means that you're getting rid of the old in order to bring in the new. And sometimes, you know, we can have a cup that's overflowing, but if it's overflowing too much, then other things that are for our gracious good can't come in until things that don't serve us anymore are released and let go of and disappear from our lives. So let's look at what's in your heart space. What's in Cancer's heart space? Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. So you do have a Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is, as you can see from this, um, <clears throat> it's about you're regretting something, uh, something that means an awful lot to you. There is um, remorse, there is a feeling that you maybe shouldn't have done something that you've done, I don't know, but you, you're focusing on these three cups, which I always sort of feel are like the sort of past, present and the future. So what's happening when you're in this space is that you're you're attracting more of the same to you. So, you know, we create our own reality from our thoughts. And if you are in this space of lack of or in a space of fear or anxiety or remorse or sadness, the universe, bless it, will always say yes. So they'll just respond to that feeling and give you more of the same. So it's it's Whatever it's happened, it's, it's been a, a bit of a symbolic ending represented by the snow, but your higher self is calling you, you know, this is the castle up there. And there are two cups there waiting for you. And you know, we, as I said, we create our own reality and the universe is ready and waiting to give you so many amazing surprises and delights, which is represented by these two cups. Um, but it can't if you're not looking. And, you, and if you're not aware of it, and if you're putting up resistance because you're focusing on things that just uh, didn't serve you, and maybe there's just you know this innate sadness in you because at the end of this this cycle, and and, and I understand that it, you know it's it's very tough to go through cycles, um, but let's see what's in your soulmate's headspace that's popped out. <clears throat> so they've got the hangman. So the hangman is very much seeing things from a different perspective. Um, and there are all sorts of different versions of the hangman. Um, you know, this, this person is very much, uh, they're becoming enlightened about things. They're understanding why things may have happened. The hangman is about looking at a relationship and deciding, taking time out and deciding whether it's something that you want to be in or not. Um, you know, there is this light coming through. So whatever new perspectives, your soulmate has it's something from a from a higher self point of view and at any one time they can kind of take themselves off that tree but <clears throat> I also see the hangman is they're kind of um, manifesting and they're not worrying about how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen etc etc they're just hanging out but that's in their headspace so they're, they're in a kind of wait and see um, so let's see what's in their 
heart space. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pull out these, one card. Thank you. Cancer, soulmates, heart space. We've got too many. <coughs> so, you've got temperance. So, in their heart space, they've got the temperance card, which is patience. And it's about balance as well. And this is all being divinely guided um, and divinely protected. They're definitely going through some form of change and shift and change. Um, you know, maybe they were in a space where they weren't giving as much as you or you weren't giving enough to them and there was an imbalance. And so what's happening now is that they are balanced, they're balancing out, you know, they're, they're going through a grounding stage. They've also got their feet in the water. So it's a, it's a combination of both that sort of logical mind stuff and the emotional side as well. Um, you can see the rainbow here. I think there's certainly been something that's happened during this lockdown because in England, obviously, we had rainbows everywhere, which the children drew, which is all about hope and trust and belief during lockdown. So this is something that I think has caused them to go within um, during this lockdown and, and have a look at their life and where they're going. And they're definitely getting advice that they're definitely getting help and support from spirit. And, you know, this is how they feel for you in their heart space. So, you know, they see you as somebody who kind of, I, I, I don't like to use this expression, completes them, but that's what I've been told because the only person we should be really completing is ourselves. And then when we love ourselves and we <clears throat> have self-worth as well, we have a lot of love to give another, um, but we do it from a place of not codependency and not need. Um, so but they do have an awful lot of love for you. Um, I just need to put my glasses on for this one as well to see if I've missed anything. Yes. And you see there's a path here. So they're definitely on their, they know they're on their path. They know that you're their path. Um, and uh, the, they're also dressed in white here as well. The angel's dressed in white. So whatever decision, whatever they're feeling, they know that you bring them a, a peace and happiness. Um, so let's see what advice from spirit there is for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That flew out. The five of wands. Okay, so get my little tough head on at the moment. Five of Wands is advice from Spirit for you to stay away from any negativity, any discussions about maybe your relationships or your soulmate's relationship with you, etc, etc. Um, you know, nobody really listens to each other in the Five of Wands. Everybody just wants to speak. And when we get drawn into that negative energy space or we're into arguments with people, we're just lowering our vibration and therefore we're just creating more of the same. So, you know, Spirit says, you know, keep away from that. You know, you're going through the end of a cycle. So in order to get through this card, you, you need to keep moving. Stay away from all of this, this negative energy. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't make you feel any good. You feel like crap afterwards. Nobody's, as I said, really listening to each other. And if it's something about your relationship with your soulmate, then absolutely stay away from it because only you know how you feel. And then your soulmate knows how they feel. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is clarify those cards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Please clarify the death card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please clarify the death card. One card, please. Well, not surprised you got the tower. So you poor darling, you're going through a bit of a shitstorm at the moment. Um, and what I want to do is just to try and get you to try and flip this in your mind. So um, when we go through cycles of life, um, what happens is that we all tend to repeat patterns of behavior, which is something that we, the conditioned behaviors, it's something that we, we do our entire lives to sort of protect ourselves. And, um, and they tend to go back to childhood. And so what happens is that God, the universe, I call it, they come in and they give you little slaps around the face. And if you don't listen to that little slap around the face, they give you a whopping great big slap. So the tower comes in to literally, I see the tower as your condition, as conditioned behaviors. Um, and everything that's given to us is given to us a gift. So things don't happen to us, they happen for us. And so God comes in and gives us triggers, trigger after trigger after trigger to try and heal these inner wounds, these inner child wounds. And so when you cannot ignore it any longer, 
this is when the tower comes in so you can't ignore it and this tower is your conditioned behaviors it has to come down in order for you to see the way forward it is a bit of a shock it is upsetting but what's beautiful about the tower is once you've gone through that tower moment and through that death cut you're going through what spirit is saying is you're going through a transformation the death guard is a transformation and all of our soul, all of our relationships with another are about the transformation of our soul, the evolution of our soul. And you're going through that at the moment because you're going through this tower moment. So what happens is, is as you come through it, you start to be very grateful that it happened because you become more into a soul based way of thinking. You become more into a love based way of thinking and not an ego protective way of thinking. So I'm not surprised to see that card there, but uh, let's see what's uh, more clarification, please, on the Five of Cups. This is in your heart space. Thank you. So the lovers. So um, there is a regret and remorse with you about uh, a relationship or relationships that you have had or have. And um, the lovers is always about choices that you've, you've made as well. I believe that this card, uh, with this particular lovers card, because of the the connection they see they're, they're both holding onto the tree we're all connected okay we're all connected we're all a piece of the glorious amazingness that is god the universe you know the universal consciousness there is a real connection with you with this with your soulmate here and i think with them looking at each other you've both um come into each other's lives to help each other uh trigger and release behaviors uh, i you know You've both felt sort of unseen. They're both in their sort of slightly drab, drab clothes there. And it hasn't made you terribly happy, but it has, it is bringing you wisdom. Um, and it's bringing you knowledge as well here too. And these little purple irises represent that sort of beginning, the beginnings of your waking up, your sort of spiritual enlightenment, your sort of growth, your, your kind of um, awareness of what's been happening and you're starting to question about is this what you want in your life or not and you know this is why you're going through this transformation so um and you know this is to clarify the fight the five of cups so you have you're going <clears throat> this is this regret and remorse so you're really starting to think about your life and what's happened um and you know maybe your soulmate has helped you do this or maybe it's that because you've lost your soulmate, that you, you're you starting to reevaluate your whole life. So let's see how your soulmate, whoever you're thinking about, is feeling in their headspace, and they have the hangman. So, um, so they've got the queen of wands. <clears throat> Do you remember me talking to you about how they're just hanging out, and they're manifesting, and they're not worrying, and they're getting enlightenment here, and they're seeing things from a new perspective? Well, they have the Queen of Wands. So in their headspace towards you, you know, there's a lot of passion there as well. I mean, I always quite like these chairs and this. Um, you know, the little dragon represents their, their spiritual path, their kind of growth, and, and the cat as well. And it's, it's about trusting your intuition and your soul, et cetera, et cetera. And then I always see with these sunflowers, do you see here these sunflowers? So this person, um, I don't know if you know, but sunflowers, um, if it's cloudy, they face each other to share the light. So I always see this, or well, the cards always give this to me to show me about soul families. So your soulmate has soul family around them and they are um, able to, um, it's that beautiful sharing of energy and sharing of light. It's been very much trans, helped their transformative um, growth that they've had. Um, and they've gone through contrast, you see. So they've, this is the snow-capped mountains and then this sort of red, hot um, desert like mountains so they've they've had to learn what they don't want in order to understand what they do want and it's made them very grounded and very solid you know the queen of wands God, she knows what she wants she's pretty passionate she's creative you know this this is in their headspace for you so they know what they want and they know that this is this is how they feel about you in their headspace so whatever you're doing uh, you, you know, they, they know that you are part of um, something that they desire, something that they, they want to create with you. Let's have a look at your soulmates. Uh, this is temperance. This is in their heart space for you. Thank you. So uh, they are, it's a rebirth. Um, and actually two came out, so I'm going to take both of them. So you've got the rebirth card and the three of wands. So, so you... Um, 
So remember the temperance card was about balance and they're going through this, this transformative change and it's about um, the balancing of the sort of the, the masculine and the feminine side. And this is how they feel about you as well. So that this is very much a divinely guided um, uh, relationship. It's something where they've had a lot of thought about during lockdown, etc., etc. They very much know that you're their path and they're manifesting, they're manifesting you, but they also understand about divine timing because this is what little Saturn here represents. It's about manifestations, but do you see how much they're guided here? I think they're waiting on you um, and that's what the temperance card also represents, it's patience. I think they know uh, that there is something there um, and I think they're allowing you to go through what you're meant to do on your journey and you've got this death card and this tower and the choice of lovers etc. So but they are, <clears throat> it's the patience, it's the, it's the understanding that um, you know, when we manifest, when we, when we, the universe, as I said, always says yes. It just re-it it basically will say yes to however we're feeling. And if we're feeling that we deserve it and we feel that we are, we, we love ourselves, etc., then we're, we're vibrating out that request, you know, to match that. So they're very much in that space of manifestation. They're very much aware about um, uh, waiting for it to be the right timing, that the ships will always dock at the right timing. And, you know, they've chosen this one. They know what they want um, and they are being guided. But I think they're, they're, they're definitely waiting on you. Um, and uh, you're still in this sort of argument sort of stage. Um, but I don't think they're going anywhere. Um, but they are going through a rebirth and this is also what the temperance card is about. They're definitely going through a rebirth. This is the full card. This is the start of a new cycle. So maybe they're just a little bit further ahead than you because you're at the, the transformative end of the cycle and they've hit this new cycle and they're going with the flow. They're trusting. They're going with the universe. They understand that if they just let go of these oars of fear and anxiety and just allow this boat to go where it's meant to go, that the universe will guide them. And you see all of that there. So it's very beautiful. They they um they very much hold you uh in their heart space in a very pure kind of way. Um, but they are moving forward. Um, and I always say when I talk to clients, you know, always move forward, uh, keep moving forward, hold the space, hold the space for your soulmate, but keep moving forward. So I don't know if you, this is you and you want to switch the energies here, but somebody is very much healed and they're moving ahead and the other person is going through, whether it's you or the other one is going through, um, a, a bit of a dark night of the soul at the moment. So whoever that is, do have love and patience for them and compassion because it's a very difficult thing to go through. So let's just see that clarification of the five of wands for you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so you've, <laughs> the five of wands, this was the advice about stepping away from the negative energies, they're not serving you. All you're doing is getting caught around, around, around in the same old cycle, the same old hamster wheel and nobody's listening to the other person and all you're doing is whoever this is is just transferring their hurts onto another one and the other one's transferring their hurts back what spirit is saying to you this is the clarifiers you know this is the ten of cups this is what's waiting for you if you keep stay away from the negative energies manifest what you do want manifest this ten of cups you deserve it my darling manifest it say to the universe thank you for bringing in my ten of cups thank you i deserve this and, and allow it to happen any which way it's meant to happen. I mean, your soulmate very much loves you. Um, but I think they're allowing you to go through whatever you're meant to at the moment. Um, so let's, I'm going to pull you um, some romance angels. Um, and, I, and I just, yeah, you see that this is in their headspace. They're, they're kind of looking away from... They're looking away from all this regret and remorse. So this is this is your heart space where you are, and they're they're just being. There's a great beauty in just being and in being in the moment and knowing and and happiness. And that's what brings in all sorts of wonderful surprises and delights. So for uh, cancer, sorry, this is um, you see. Look, let your friends help you. So. Maybe, my darling, you're not very good at talking to people. 
So this is very much about um, letting your friends help you. You know, do ask advice. Everybody's been through it. Nobody's going to think badly of you for talking, but you know, do you, do you remember, you know, this, this soulmate, they've let their friends help them. They've, they've understood that people come into their lives for um, a reason and God always sends the helping hand at the right time. And, you know, this is very much just start to open up and talk and just sort of and talk with your feelings. Don't talk with your head space. Talk with your heart space. Talk from your soul, my darling. Um, so any other messages? Thank you. <laughs> and have some fun. Flirt. Don't don't be too serious about it. You know, the, the, extend your lighthearted energy to others. You know, we're all beautiful. Um, when we go through a transformation, it's a bit like a butterfly. I just did a post on it today. When we release all the negative energies, you know, we allow that lighter self to come in and we start to see the magic. So it's, you know, try not to um, treat uh, relationships too seriously. You know, God actually just wants us to be happy and to, and to have joy and to spread love. And uh, I'm going to pull you one more. And um, so it's about sort of enjoying our relationships and not seeing them so seriously, but observing as well when something comes in to trigger us. And look, romantic feelings. So you and your soulmate, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this is why I think you've gone through this dark night of the soul and you've gone through this transformation. Whatever choices you're making with regards to the lovers and regret and remorse, um, your soulmate, whoever this is, absolutely loves you, but they are, I think they're just allowing you the time and, and the, the place. And it's really up to you, you know, you just to, to once you move away from this space, uh, once you move away from um, maybe about wanting to be right or just, just that awful protectedness of one's heart, you know, and, and remember, as well, whoever you're dealing with um, at the moment, um, don't be angry at them because they're equally dealing from a place of pain and nobody intends to hurt another person. And so, you know, if there are things that are being said, it's, it's from a place of pain. Um, so you are, are very much being looked after um, and um, you just, one step at a time, my darling, one step at a time but um, try and step out of the negative re re release, regret, um, sorry, regret and remorse stage and, and get to that space where you just start to observe more what's happening and uh, start and let those receiving thoughts come in, that, those thoughts of clarity. Once your little noodle stops worrying about things so much, you'll allow those thoughts, those clarity thoughts, your soul talking to you to come through. So um, anyway, I uh, hope uh, you have a lovely week ahead um, and I, as I said anybody who's got a birthday this week do have a very very special birthday and uh, I look forward to having a chat um, with you and with Spirit Natter over a cup of tea next weekend my darlings anyway take care cancer and uh, speak to you soon bye bye